Lord in love. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a warm welcome on SR TV Lab. Today, I would like us to see the video about bones of the forearm. Within the forearm, we're gonna see two bones. And we're gonna see physical features of each bone and the joint between these two bones. So please, if you have not yet subscribed, please place the subscribe button, like the video and give the comment. If there is something you would like us to improve, just give it in the comment. And if there is a specific video you would like us to give you, please give it in a comment. May God bless you. Let's go. So as you can see, we have two bones within the forearm. And these two bones are radius and ulna. But how do we know which one is radius and which one is the ulna? Let's first of all see their location or their position. These bones, this bone is at the side of the thumb or the lateral side. This is radius. Radius and the lateral. Radius is at the lateral side. Therefore, ulna is at the medial side. This is ulna and this is radius. And then let's see their physical features, part of each bone. Let's start with the ulna from the proximal end. Proximal end is the one which is closer to the arm. So we see this prominence. This is called olecranon process. And this is procrea notch. This is the fossa below the olecranon process. This is trochlear notch. And this prominence again is called coronoid process. And here is the joint between radius and ulna. This joint is called proximal radio ulna joint. And then where it articulate, I mean where ulna articulate with the radius, there is what we call radial notch, radial notch, which means that is where the head of radius articulate with the ulna. There is a notch. Like here it is trochlear notch, where the ulna articulate with the humerus. Here is radial notch, where ulna articulate with radius. Then we move down. All of this is a shaft. And down here is the head. And the another process lateral, I mean medial to this bone, it is called styroid process. The ulna styroid process. Those are mainly parts of the ulna. And uh, before we go to the radius, this joint between radius and the ulna distally is called distal radio ulna joint let me repeat once again the ulna this is the head of the ulna this is the styroid process of the ulna this is the shaft of the ulna this is the coronoid process this is the trochlear fossa and then this is the i mean the olecranon process olecranon process trochlear fossa coronoid process and here is the radial notch now let's see radius when we start from the proximal end this is the head remember at the ulna the head was at the distal end the opposite on radius the head is on the proximal part and below the head or inferior to the head is the neck, the neck of radius. And here is the shaft. But below the neck here we have a prominence. This is called radial tuberosity. This is another prominence. But this dome-like part is called 
radial tuberosity. So we move down. Here we have another process. It's called styroid process of radius. The same here. Here we, we have the styroid process of radius. I mean the ulna. Here we have the styroid process of radius. And remember here it is the distal radial ulna joint. And ulna notch at radius. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope it's very helpful. So please, don't keep this information just with yourself. Share this information to your colleagues. And see you in another video next time. May God bless you. Abaka.